Hey guys, what's up? So, if you are a good stalker and you follow me on Daily Booth and you've been seeing a lot of plaid slash flannel, you're probably wondering why. If you're a good creep and you read the comments, I have declared this week to be my personal flannel week. Because I have enough flannel to last me for a week. Even if it's not legit flannel, it's at least, you know, the patterniness, so whatever it counts. Counts! Counts! So, I am here to talk to you about a couple of things. First off, if you've seen my last video, I want you to do me a favor. Watch the video. Then look down in the comments below. Look back up. Look at me. Look back down in the comments below. Now look at me. Now read the comments. Now what do you see? You see a troll. Now this is my first experience with trolls, and uh, it's a little weird. A little off-putting. Um, you know, not a nice comment. Hurts self-esteem. Because everyone has feelings. And it just aren't so much. <sighs> but no, really. I mean, it just kind of sucked. But the only way to deal with a troll is to troll him right back. So that's what I did. You know, it happens. And haters gonna hate. So uh, what you gonna do? Nothing. That's what. Because haters gonna hate. All right, secondly, this is kind of exciting. For any of my followers out there who watch American Idol, if you watched it tonight, they were filming in San Diego, and there was a guy on there in a Transformers suit, you know, with the car thing, and he could move it back and forth and stuff. I know him. And no, I'm not trying to troll you, which would be oddly ironic and funny. No, I actually know him. Um, He is my friend's brother and he lives out in Cali and it was just really cool to see someone I know on TV. Especially in his awesome robot transformer suit thing. Um, which if you want to find it, I would YouTube it. It might not be up yet, but you know, BitTorrents and just people who hack the internet all the time would probably find that interesting and put that up somewhere. But I wanted to put that I know him in as soon as possible. Because the fact that I know him is just so freaking awesome, and I'm going to use his exploitation to exploit myself and, you know, get this to work. Speaking of which, those of you out there aspiring to be YouTube partners, if you haven't checked the partner's regulation-y, terms of service-y thing, the rules of the game have been changed. No longer can you apply to be a partner YouTube is currently invitation only, which in all technicality means if your video is getting a lot of hits and we like it, then we as YouTube will send you a message so that you can start profiting off of your videos. Which really means if you're stupid and you put a video on YouTube and people be liking it, we gonna give you money for that, yeah! So you know the people like me who spend a lot of time filming and editing and putting their good videos together, you know, they're not going to get any credit. But the people who use like their iPhone camera to film their friend doing a backflip off of their roof into a faceplant on the ground and then hitting five squirrels on the way down who then decide to attack him and throw acorns at him, no, they're going to be the ones who get famous. Which if that actually happens, that's really cool. And also, it means I'm psychic. I'm an oracle. So in History Fine Arts, we were talking about oracles. Apparently, there was a guy in like the early 20th century who uh, made all these predictions and stuff. And he predicted that at the bottom of the, uh, the Sphinx in Egypt, you know, the Sphinx under its uh, right paw, there was the lost library of Atlantis, which the current Egyptian government won't let them go down there, even though some guy in the 70s, you know, did some like sound wavy type uh, thingermajigs and found that there actually is a cavern down there. No, the Egyptian government won't let them go at it. But I'm hoping that this whole revolt in Egypt is signifying a change in the government and then that when the new government comes around they'll let people excavate it and there will be so much knowledge gained and I'm a real big geek but that would be so awesome and people would learn a lot and speaking of learning stuff and such we were also talking about 2012 which if you're into this whole thing and you've actually you know taken time to look at it and not just believe hey, we're all gonna die what's actually supposed to happen is that the uh, the earth the moon and the sun are all supposed to line up with the center of the Milky Way universe 
at which lies a black hole, but we're not we're not gonna get sucked too into it. We're not gonna die, we're all gonna die. Yeah, we're we're not gonna do that. But since you know it's powerful and magnetic and stuff, there is supposed to be a giant magnetic shift on the earth, which you know either means yeah, we're all gonna die or um it means that there will be some sort of social awakening because you know that little 10% you mind that you use might might increase because of magnetic fields which hopefully means there will be less idiots because just knowing that I only use 10% of my brain makes me feel like such an idiot but obviously I'm not because if I was then I'd be famous on YouTube so with that this is humorous and terp gal o four wishing you a humorous day my tv makes odd noises anywho